Well, we're here on Wilbury Hills Road with the campaigners, uh, Wilbury Residents' Alliance, uh, because we're concerned about the width of the road with all the lorries that are proposed for the Hitchin Rail Loop, which is, you know, probably a very important national scheme, but it's important too that local residents uh, can feel safe in their own homes and with their own road. Now, uh, do you want to tell us a bit more about it? Um, Network Rail are proposing to bring uh, at least 400 HGVs along our road every day for two years. This will pose a severe health and safety risk to all the residents who live along this road. But what about the concern about the width of the road and the uh, lorries might uh, run on the pavement? Do you want to just say a bit more about that? The road currently, as you can see, is only five metres wide. Um, HGVs are, a, well, two HGVs cannot safely pass along this road. Um, they will have to mount the curve or mount the verge on the other side of the road to make the thing for residents at further risk. And, you know, mothers use this road for their children. We've got the secondary school just up the road here. Uh, is that part of your concern? Very much so. We've got severe concerns over our residents. And I don't know if you wanted to say a word about Wilbur in the um, uh, mobile home park up here and the effect on Yeah, so we've got a group of uh, 60 homes on the mobile home park and they, they have uh, serious severance issues. They need to be uh, considered for a pelican crossing so that they can actually access the Wilbur Hills Road and the bus stop on the other side of the road. Um, and uh, that is something that we're very, very concerned about. Yeah. I mean, what is the answer with bringing the materials in for this rail project? They, the answer is that it needs to be bought in by rail. They, the, the Network Rail have discounted all the options that they, they've looked at, but they've done that um, analysis themselves. They've not had that done independently. And um, the argument really is that it, will take, it could take longer and it could be more expensive to bring it in by rail than using the road. But, yeah, that... that extra length of time and extra money can't be set against the safety and security of the residents of this road and, or any of, the other, any of the other roads in that road. You know, when you think about it, there are other rail schemes in London, for example, where they just can't use road transport to bring in That's right. the soil and, and the heavy materials on. London so Bridge, what do they do there? Yeah. London Bridge, for instance, they've had to bring it all, all in by rail. They haven't had, been able to access the, these severely congested roads in the centre of London. So they've been forced to, to use the railways and they've done it very successfully. So, you know, there's no, we don't feel that there can be any argument that they can't do the same here, really. Yeah, well, thanks, Lucy. And we've got our local councillor, Terry Tone, here. I think uh, Network Rail not given the due consideration they, they really should to the residents of this road. They've not been really consulted from the beginning and they're not even listening to them now when it comes to the concerns that are very genuinely expressed. The vehicles going on the street are going to cause absolute chaos to the residents for two and a half years and I don't think Network Rail recognise the chaos it's going to cause to the people and the threats it is to the children, to the curbs and to the and, and to people trying to cross the roads in and out of the park. So I think Network Rail needs a lot more to convince the residents around here it's the right way to go about is by bringing the trucks in rather than our preferred option which is by rail which is the sensible way of doing it and the most environmentally friendly way of doing it as well which will be taken to account. So the battle goes to the public inquiry. Well that's where we'll be, yes. Well Lucy, Lindsay, Terry, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.